Hi, I'm, I'm Tony Gallagher. I'm the, the general manager for, for Civil in Fulton Hogan. Uh, and, and part of that role is also look after our rebuild activities here in Christchurch. I'm also a member of the, the Charter Steering Group and the Charter Performance Working Group. Fulton Hogan is proud tonight to be um, sponsoring us or co-sponsoring this uh, along with McConnell Dell. Um, before I start, there's, there's three people I'd like to thank tonight. First of all is, is Lee. Thank you for preparing the, the short presentation. Second one's my mother. I'll come to that a wee bit later on. And uh, the third one is, is Colleen Cameron. Um, she's a Fulton Hogan employee and she's been with us a few decades. Hi, Colleen. Um, she's probably wondering what the heck I'm going to say next. But um, Colleen's, what Colleen does, she does a very vital role in Fulton Hogan, which is she's our in-house, she leads our in-house collective union. And um, it's great to see you along here. And th this tool here we're talking about is about people getting involved and the staff getting involved. And it's great to see Colleen come along here and giving up her own time to be here tonight. You are off the clock, aren't you? Yeah? Yeah, right, okay. So today I want to talk to you about um, briefly about the new charter membership area and, and how it will help the signatories improve their charter performance. Over the past few months, our focus has been on creating a members area on the charter website. The members area supports signatories to improve their charter performance and in particular, their health and safety leadership through a series of tools. Later tonight, the Charter's membership area will go live, and I think that's uh, been an awful lot of work to get to this point, a lot of people behind the scenes, so uh, congratulations to all those who are involved in it. Uh, you'll be able to go on that website there tonight, and um, to give you a, a better understanding of what this is, here's a, um, here's a short video, and there's a narration by a Kiwi bloke, so hopefully you're okay with the accent. <laughs> This video is an introduction to the Canterbury Rebuild Safety Charter Members Area. The Members Area has three main sections. The Organisational Assessment and Plan section is where signatories can assess their charter performance and plan to improve it. The Charter Performance Documents section provides documents to help signatories improve their organisation's charter performance. Personal Leadership Assessment section helps you measure your health and safety leadership. After you log in, you'll be taken to the Organisation Assessments and Plans section. Click on New Assessment to start your organisation's assessment against the Charter. A guide to understanding the four levels of achievement is incorporated within the tool. While you're filling out the assessment tool, you'll see there's a checkbox under each question. Select the box to include that question in your performance plan. After you've submitted your assessment, you can see your organisation's results. This will help show you where your organisation can improve. You can view the results section to see Signatory's charter performance in aggregate. You can explore the results further, including filtering them by organisation type and size, as well as date. After you've finished your assessment, a performance plan will be generated for you to complete. You should choose a date to complete your plan and put in a target for your chosen questions. Here you'll see aggregate results from the plan showing where charter signatories are looking to improve their performance. The Charter Performance Documents section provides resources to help your charter performance. The resources include documents shared by charter members and helpful links. The Personal Leadership section helps you to assess your health and safety leadership. Start by picking the leadership type that best fits your role. There are less than 30 questions designed to help you understand where to focus on developing your health and safety leadership. Once you have finished your assessment, you will get feedback on what areas of leadership you can improve in and a guide that can help you in these areas. If you need any help using the members area, click on the help button at the top right or contact the Safety Charter at info at safetycharter.org.nz for further assistance. 
Okay, well, I just want to acknowledge as well um, Fontaine Design and uh, Navigators Consulting, who who put that all together there as well, who have done all the work uh, on the website, which is which is great. So there's three three new tools um, to support the charter performance. Uh, number one, um, it adds an automated performance improvement plan to the charter assessment tool, making it easy for signatories to plan improving their charter performance. Number two, it provides a place for signatories to share their documents to help others improve um, their charter performance. This is about helping each other out, and this is an opportunity to do so. It takes the recent, it also takes the recently released leadership guidance and uses them as a leadership membership tool. So how can, so how can you use the members area to improve your organisational health and safety to support a safe rebuild? Firstly, if you haven't done so, you can undertake a chartered organisational assessment. We have asked all the signatories to do so, and most of them have. The bonus with completing the assessment now is that you have, at the same time, you can select the questions for which go on and automatically produce your uh, improvement plan. The good news for those who have already done so, um, you don't have to start again. You can just edit it and uh, the current assessment and select the questions and it'll come out in your improvement plan. Uh, following all of this, you can finalise and set your Charter Performance Improvement Plan and share it with your team. Uh, the membership area adds to the ACC, the MB and WorkSafe documents by allowing Charter members to share their internal documents. We have started with sharing the documents in areas such as fatigue, drugs and alcohol, where signatures uh, have indicated their need, where they need assistance. We have also added site induction and reporting documents covering charter commitments that have not previously had um, the supporting documents. However, we want, we want to share more documents, and, and I think all the documents so far have either come from a large organisation, um, whether it be WorkSafe or something, or, or companies such as Fulton Hogan. Um, I don't think we've for a second got the monopoly on any good ideas. So if you think you've got some good ideas, Again, through that, that uh, info, info um, link with, with um, the charter there, if you can send in your ideas and, and they'll be um, hopefully incorporated and shared with the rest. The new leadership membership tool is based on the leadership guidance released earlier this year. It provides all members of charter signatories and endorsees the opportunity to assess their charter performance. It's useful for all members of your organisation, we suggest you encourage them all to use it. So, Colleen, I'll be expecting you to be uh, using it as of tomorrow, eh? We'll work together on that. So the next part I wanted to talk to you about was, uh, was the new members. We've now reached the uh, double century, which is a, is a great effort. Uh, 200 not out. We've signed our two, uh, 200th member earlier this month. We have now over 250 signatories and endorses. But we don't intend to stop there. We've started this journey with a lot of the big guys in the rebuild, the government organisations, horizontal infrastructure companies, insurers, and the project management offices. 90% of these guys have over 50, 50 full-time employees. Uh, these organisations still make up about 20% of the membership. However, what is, um, what is encouraging is 80% of our membership is actually made up with, with small, medium enterprises with less than 50 staff. Um, and this is the point where I, I thank my mother, right? Because I've been living here for 20 years near on, and um, every week, any time she sees something about New Zealand, or particularly Christchurch, she sends me newspaper articles and so on. So my mother doesn't know that websites exist, right? <laughs> God bless her. But anyway, every now and then she does actually come up with a cracker, and she sent me this thing, and, and George, you might recognise this. It's called the Safety, Health, Safety and Health Practitioner. And on the front cover, you can see the, the cardboard uh, cathedral. And uh, this, is a, this is a great um, article which is written by Liz, Liz Beringham. And I think she's local. But what she's done here is she's reminded us there there's over 7,500 7, small construction companies working hard on this rebuild. Graham tells me he's, he reckons on um, his database is 9,000. Uh, and arguably, the greatest impact that we can actually make here as an industry is getting uh, some of these small and, and lending a hand to some of these small, medium enterprises get on board. And a chartership tool is uh, an ideal way to do that. So, really, the challenge is here to the group here. If you've, you know members or your subbies or your subbies' subbies, 
get them involved, show them, show them how this thing works. Um, so we just want to target small charter ship membership and focus uh, of the steering and working groups. And the steering group have uh, had a good discussion today about how we might do that. I hope we all take on the challenge of helping um, your competitors, your contractors, your subbies, and see the benefits of signing up to the charter. This is what we call leadership in action. We have uh, resources available for you to help promote the charter membership, a PowerPoint with all the key factors of why health and safety is good business, plus a promotional card which extols the, the benefits of memberships. They're available on the web and at the front desk. Have we got them out in the front desk? Lee? I think we have. Along with a range of other resources for your help.